Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Today, Thursday, second to the last day of the semester. Can you believe it? Time flies when you're having fun, right? We're going to continue with the activity of taking care of the environment. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about the essential question. What can we do? What can a person do day to day to help take care of the environment? We really want to focus on the routines of uh, how we can ourselves individually do our part in taking care of the environment. That's really our focus for today's discussion. I went to Flipgrid and uh, I enjoyed listening to some of your responses. Some of you went ahead and took my advice yesterday to upload the video before today's class. And uh, I enjoyed your responses. If you have not done so, please go ahead and upload your video uh, first thing today in today's class. OK, our goal for today is to come back at about 855. To have a whole group discussion about the topic of taking care of the environment. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to look at the notion page for today and here you'll find the link to the Flipgrid activity. And so if you haven't uploaded your video, go ahead, please, and do so. If if it uh, if it's going to take a long time, if it's going to take more than five or ten minutes to upload the video, I would I would do that later so that you can spend most of today with your team talking about what you can prepare for the whole group discussion. Again, that will start about 8.55 this morning. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and um, give you guys a chance to get into your teams and discuss the topic of taking care of the environment, really answering the question, what can one do day to day on a daily basis to help take care of the environment? I would like for you guys to think about three question words when you're preparing your ideas, when you're working with your team. When you're sharing your document and you're all contributing to ideas and you're thinking about as a team how you want to organize your ideas, think about the three question words. What three question words do you think we need to consider? What do you think? For, to answer this question, what are the three question words do you think are most, probably the most relevant? Mm, how? All right. So what can one do day to day to help take care of the environment? How? What other question word? What, what other question word in addition to how do you think would be most appropriate? Maybe how? why? Maybe if, maybe if the information is relevant. Okay, did you say why, um, Liz? Mm -hmm. I thought, I th okay, so certainly why also. So you might talk about why it's important to do this daily routine. How do you do the daily routine? Any other question word that comes to mind that might be appropriate? Uh, maybe who? Okay, could be who. Now, this third question word, I was there. There are many other options. I think certainly how and why you should consider 
who, maybe what, you know, what the what the routine is. So you can really describe exactly what the routine is. Let me give you an example. If I say, um, save electricity, all right? So what do I mean by save electricity? Well, making sure that we as a family, we don't leave all the lights on when we're not in the room. Maybe we turn the computers off when we're not in our bedroom or whatever room that where we have a computer. Um, that That is also how. We're also saying how. So how could you do it? Well, before I leave, I'm going to walk through the house and make sure that all the lights are turned off. That would be more specific to how I would make sure that the lights are turned off. I might do the same for making sure all the computers are turned off, just doing a very quick scan of the room or the house to make sure that all of those appliances and lights are turned off. Uh, how could also be regarding the lights, going to uh, the store and buying maybe uh, special low wattage lights or uh, lights that consume less energy, a certain type of light I could purchase that would also be how I could conserve electricity by buying certain lights. So I'm describing how. Now, why? Well, it's important to save electricity. Why? Well, because it's um, it's cheaper, so our electric bill will be lower, and we're not wasting energy more globally, right? We're we're conserving energy. Um, we might even to to conserve electricity eat dinner at night by candlelight, right? To have kind of a nice romantic dinner with candles instead of lights, right? That would also be describing how. Okay, so try to figure out how you want to introduce how and why and what and maybe who, right? You could address certain people maybe in your family that, uh, that it relates to. And certainly there are other question words, but I want you to try to think about the question words as a team as you're thinking about how you want to organize your ideas. All right, so let's go ahead and break into our groups. We'll come back at 8.55. I'm going to try to, at this time, go into each of the groups and uh, just see what you guys are thinking about and answer any questions that you have about how you want to present at 8.55. I'm going to ask each team to present around five minutes, and you can choose a spokesperson, a person who will be mainly in charge of presenting the ideas. You can also choose to contribute equally throughout each of your each of the team members. It's up to you, but do talk about it so that you're clear as a team how you want to present your ideas. Any questions, guys, about today's activity? Teacher, it has to be a Word document, or it can be like, um, I don't know, like we can present with other different document. Um, for presenting, I'm not asking that you show any any documents. All right. So I was thinking a Word document to keep it uh, easier, but if you want to use OneNote or uh, the the whole point about the document is more in the preparation. So this first hour, as you guys are talking, you can add um, your your ideas in a text, one document, so that you can all see the same document, put your ideas together as you're talking in English with each other, and you're looking at the document. Um, that's that was the idea that I that I had. It's a it's a, an activity that we've done uh, several times as a, as a group where I've asked all of us, the whole group, to get into one document, and I've asked you questions, and and you've all contributed to that one document. So that was the idea that I had, and I'm not asking you guys to share anything other than just your video and your ideas, listening and watching you speak and hear your perspectives. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions, guys? All right. It's the no. OK. All right. So um, let's go ahead now and break into our uh, teams. 
Uh, if you didn't get a chance to upload the video, just go. I would maybe do it later so that you can spend more time getting ideas together for our whole group discussion at 8.55. We will reconvene at that time and we'll begin with team one and then continue with team two and so on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and I'm also going to be jumping into your groups just to hear from you guys. Uh, to again clarify anything that we need to clarify and just to get your ideas on today's topic. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys at about 8.55. Okay, All right, my friends. We'll uh, get started here in just a few minutes. We'll wait for folks to come back from your breakout rooms discussing today's essential question. Today's essential question is what can one do on a day-to-day -day basis to help conserve the environment, to help preserve the environment? What can we do day-to-day, -day, each one of us, that over time will help contribute to having a, a better, cleaner environment. Okay, this is today's topic, really answering this question. We had an opportunity to express our ideas in our Flipgrid video individually so that you had your own, uh, your own opinion on the topic. Today, you were asked to work together with your teammates to talk about your ideas and reach a consensus about as a team, how you would answer the same question. And sharing a Word document, hopefully uh, you were able to create a simple outline to help guide you through today's discussion as now you present as a team your ideas to the whole group. I wanna keep this as conversational as possible. So when I ask each team to, uh, to contribute, to share your ideas, you can have a spokesperson to to talk about the ideas, but I would ask that each team, as you're called upon, to activate your video, okay? Just so that we can see your uh, faces, make it a little bit more dynamic. Even if you're not planning on saying something, of course, I encourage all of you to contribute to the conversation. And I'm going to ask uh, also the audience, those who are listening to your uh, to your team's ideas to raise your hand to, a to ask questions, okay? So even though we're listening to their ideas, let's try to also maybe ask questions or even if you just want to make a comment that you raise your hand so that um, that you can, uh, so that we can call on you to to speak. I really want this to be as dynamic as possible, so try to uh, listen for some ideas that you can ask about as your team members are contributing. All right, so I think most of us are back. And I think we can start now with team one. Again, I'm going to ask team one, Lisette, Estefana, Leo, and Vanessa, go ahead and activate your videos if you can. If you have a webcam, of course, try to Activate that so that we can see you. And let's begin with team one. So feel free to turn on your microphone and your camera. Hi, teacher. Hello, good morning. <laughs> it is not a good morning, but good morning. <laughs> I know you've been under the weather, Lisette, and I hope you're feeling better. Um, glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. Glad to have everybody yeah. here. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if anyone else from your team will 
join us. Uh, who's going to be the spokesperson for today? Liz. Liz. Leo. No. <laughs> Leo. Hello, Leo. Oh, the teacher said Leo. Sorry? <laughs> the teacher said that the speaker is going to be Leo. So. No, Leo it's Liz. Ah, okay. Leo's the person then. He's the spokesperson. No. No. <laughs> or you can all contribute. You can all you can all Very share your well. ideas. <laughs> so much. Very good. All right. So what do you think, guys? What are your what did you talk about as a team? What did you decide on to answer this question about the environment? Mm, okay, I will start first. Um, we conclusion that in the present, we are not aware of the importance of caring the environment. Well, this generation is mm, take care of all uh, well, other aspects. Can and you give some, I'm sorry, can you give some examples? Uh, and when I ask questions, of course, all you guys can jump in. It's not just to uh, put Lisette on the spot. But can you provide some examples of what you mean? Um, like actually, in um, we can take the environment even in small actions, like um, when we are out, don't throw the <laughs> don't throw it. Well, um, Leo, help me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think leo do you have anything to add there some examples yeah. there or some additional ideas well um in the document i have to create ideas for example to how to help the environment one of them is to the important to the talk with the new generation to the children's is important to taking care of the environment. Have you guys seen examples where people are reaching out to, let's say, the younger generation? Um, is the problem more with the younger generation or the older generation? Vanessa, what do you think? Mm, I think that all the humans, because mm -hmm. I think that I'll do that, like, things that Mm, very bad, like to throw garbage on the street. Um, uh, I think that not all recycle. Um, I think that some people use plastic bags, don't use like uh, bags the of another materials. Um, and I think that it's how humans, not only like uh, older generation or um or <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this. and um and i'm gonna ask questions guys but everyone else if you guys have questions i want to encourage you to raise your hand right so i don't want to be dominating the whole conversation i would rather you ask questions so please raise your hand okay if you guys have i want to ask uh team one uh any questions they don't have they don't have questions. It is okay. <laughs> you don't want questions. <laughs> no, I don't want. That's that's the thing. Um, but what do you guys? Can you do you mind sharing? Uh, is there anything that you guys do, if not on a day-to-day -day basis, on a regular basis, as part of your routine, that contributes to helping the environment? Well, um, about me, I talk with my little sister about the endangered species and the importance of preserving them. And he always take care of all the animals and he is in love with all the animals. So I think that's right. something that I do. That's good. Great. Leo? Well, in my daily life or my routine, my family always separate the, the trash. For example, in one box, uh, separate the iron, the glasses, or organic trash. And this is uh, so really important into taking care of the environment. 
Okay, Vanessa? Mm, for example, in my house, uh, we recycle. Um, uh, we don't throw garbage on the street. Uh, we don't use like plastic bags. We use another bags that we can use daily. Um, um, we don't use a lot of water. Uh, we try to to preserve it. Um, and yes, I think that's it. How do you how do you try to preserve water? I'm curious because I I just saw in the news that uh, that they're going to start treating water like like a commodity, like like gold, like uh, a resource that's limited, like a limited resource, which is the last thing we want to think about when uh, we think about water. But I'm curious how you uh, conserve uh, water. Mm, for example, when we take a shower, uh, uh, we only open like the the. Um, I don't remember how can I say uh, la llave. If how do you say yeah. llave? Uh, I don't know how can I say. I don't remember how can I say llave del baño. Mm -hmm. I know that Java is key, but I don't know how can I say in this case. Okay, you can say faucet, maybe you can say turn uh, yes. the, the faucet. Faucet. Mm -hmm. faucet. Uh, don't leave the shower faucet open if we are not using at that time. Um, um, well, I think that in these things, if we don't use the water, uh, we close. Okay. Um, awesome. Great. Well, uh, thank you, Team One. Thank you for a lot of good ideas that you're sharing with us. Um, that's it. Thanks. Good job. You're welcome, teacher. You're welcome. All sure. right. That wasn't so hard, was it? All right. Team Two. Monse, Erica, Nancy, Fatima. Feel free to turn on your your videos. What do you guys think about today's essential question? What can we do on a day-to-day -day basis to help preserve the environment or conserve the environment? As we're listening, guys, feel free to jump in, ask your questions. You can raise your hand if you want to ask a question to the team. Hello, Monse. Are you? There we go. Okay. Hello. Uh, well. Go ahead. Uh, well, why do you want us to explain first? Like, how can we take care of the environment, or how, what kind of however, things do we do? However you want. At home to take it's care. up to you. It's up to you. However you want to present your ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh well, first, uh, we wrote. Uh, what what can we do to take care of the environment? And then we wrote that, well, in my case, I wrote that avoid, like, have the lights on at home or whatever you are, if you're not using the light. I don't know, girls, if you can share your points. Yes, well, in my case, I wrote, um reduce the use of the water that you use when you take a shower and also reduce the car use. I separate the organic and trash and, and I use the bus. <laughs> Yeah, and also other things that we can do is use reusable bags, like clothing bags for well, when we go to the supermarket instead of the plastic bags. 
I'm curious, guys, you've, you've given some really good uh, examples, right, of what we can do on a day-to-day -day basis to help uh, conserve the environment. I'm curious about in your, your family culture, right, is this something that you guys talk about much, um, or is it just everybody kind of just does their thing, or that it just happens without much discussion? Would anyone want to share kind of like how you as a family, how that happens, like if it's explicit, right? Or you talk about it or do you not really talk about it? It just happens. Uh, uh, well, in my case, um, I think I'm the only one that get worried about it because like, for example, sometimes um, my sister or well, my siblings let their lights in the rooms on when they're not even in the room, and I get mad, like because I let, I'm like, why didn't you turn off your light? And I, I'm always like checking um, if they're not like, um, I don't know, if they're in the water, like don't let open the faucet and then turn off the lights if they're not using them. And then for example, I remember in in at school uh, we made a project about well we have to make a project about humanity and like like that caused it like impact on something. And then my team uh was thinking about being like famous about do something and I was like, no, we have to do something about like for the planet. So I make the like proposal to plant many like trees and flowers and plants in it's like it's like a and then they have a huge garden. Well it's not a garden, it's like an area uh that we made a garden. And then I I really love it, like to take care of the planet because I really hate when I'm walking up the street or traveling and I see people throwing their garbage like out of the window to the car. Like I don't I don't like it. So that uh, family and when I'm like out in the street. Okay. Great. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Erica, I don't know, or Nancy or Fatima, do you have anything? That you want to share? Um, well, for example, in my case, in my family, we try to turn off the lights when we don't use, and we also try to reuse. I don't know how to say it mm -hmm. uh, For example, plastic bags. Um, but uh, Erica, do you talk about it with your family or does it just happen? Or is there one person that is like the uh, environment police saying, no, we should do this, we should do this, kind of like what Monse was saying, like she's the one that kind of oh. worries about it the most. Um, can you talk about that as in, in your particular case with your family? Well, in my case, just, just happen. Ah, okay. All right. All right. I think we'll stop there. Thank you, team two. A lot of good ideas being shared there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, um, team three. Adan, Yaisha, Carlos, Refugio. If you'd like to join in, turn on your microphone and your camera so that we can see your lovely faces. Hello, Adan. Hi. Do you want to go ahead, Adan? Well, hopefully your teammates will join yeah. you. So go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I think that every day, uh, little by little, we can uh, we can take consideration of all the advice that we receive from news or from uh, from whatever from our family to keep the environment. Uh, the the environment, unfortunately, is getting. Uh, but so 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 yeah little by little we can 
change. If we haven't started doing this, we can start now. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, keep uh, keep the, the water or about electricity uh, or about plastic. Plastic is a big problem right now. And there are some states or in some countries that uh, that don't allow people to use plastic anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, if my team to oh, sorry. Yeah, I wanted to ask in you, when you were talking with your teammates, did you guys share? Did you have a lot of things in common in terms of your ideas about what you can do on a day to day basis? Or did you have a lot of different types of uh, ideas that you brought together in your discussions i think we have like a mixture of of them uh, each of each of us have uh, our uh, our own ideas but uh, we also contribute in uh, in all of the ideas of the all members all right uh, and i'm um, sorry go ahead uh, actually i I couldn't connect myself to the meet because I have some problems with my internet, but I have some uh, kind of apportation. But um, yeah, uh, to my teammates, I couldn't connect. Me. That's, all, awesome. that's okay, uh, Refugio. Do you want to share today uh, your ideas about what we can do on a day-to-day -day basis to help preserve the environment? Mm, I made kind of uh, a list of little things that we can do day by day to, that we, if we add these things to our routine, they can help us. It could be like turning off the lights to try to save energy, replace mm, the bags or take with us some extra when we buy when we go like to the market uh, make sure that we turn off the water keys or while we brush our feet it, I think it is um, I think that I least I used to do it and also in the shower we could reduce the time Mm, instead of like 20 minutes or more, the less that we can, the better. If you guys had to think about, uh, well, let me wait, let me wait here. I don't know if Yaisha or Carlos, do you have anything to add? I don't know if you have your uh, video camera accessible. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm here. I'm Yaisha. Okay, go ahead. Um, I put in the document where we all did in Word that uh, we have to reduce the use of transportation to near places like the store or, you know, to prevent from pollution and, and stuff like that. So I think the use of bicycles and transportation, who doesn't, well, who don't need uh, so much, I don't know, because there are also electric cars that don't, that aren't bad for the, for the environment. So I think that's also a really important part. Okay. Uh, Carlos, did you have anything to add? Uh, yes. Uh, for example, my classmate and then uh, share with share with us that some people use <clears throat> that some people use uh, the car to come or destination or near store. Uh, so we think so uh, and walk to a store, supermarket, or whatever place is a good option because doing exercise is good for you. Uh, okay. uh, I, I also want to say that when I go to the market, and that's what we were discussing in the team, when I go to the market, I can see that there are fruits or 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 vegetables in 
what, uh, with a plastic package. And for me, this is completely ridiculous because each fruit has its own peel. And I don't know why should we buy this kind of stuff or this kind of goods with the package. I mean, there are just one or two or three fruits with the package. And I don't know, you can hold them uh, one by one. I mean, it's very, very ridiculous. And we should stop buying these kinds of goods so that enterprises or companies won't, won't do this. All right, yes, uh, very good ideas here, guys. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to continue on, but really good ideas. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, these are some topics that we can talk for days, right? Talk for a long time. Yes, Carlos? Uh, which points if you want to share with, with you? <laughs> okay, all right. Well, thank you for sharing, guys, and um, thank you, team three. Good, good job. Thanks. Next up, team four, Cielo, Daira, Dana, Jesus. If you'd like to join in. Team four, hello, Jesus, hello, Dai. Hi, teacher. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Okay, we wrote some ways for we can care of the environment. So the first one that we wrote was traveling to places by bike and avoid the car. And I think that it is very important because, um, as you know, was um, use or traveling by car is very bad for the environment. So maybe when you go to the university or market, I don't know, something like that, you can use um, bike and avoid use the car for in this case. So I don't know if my classmates my classmates want to give an example of that. What do you guys think? Have you seen maybe from the government or I know this wasn't the something that you can do individually, but have you seen any changes over the years from the government or from schools? Uh, in terms of the use of uh, bicycles? I think that they are giving like more spaces to the bicycles to move, like special places for them to move like safely. Okay, so we also wrote, um, follow the rule of three R's. So you know that it reduce reuse and recycle. So the first one that is reduce um, is when you avoid um, maybe consuming unnecessary things. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. So I think that I don't know who's going to give an example. No, like what you can do to reduce is like mm, a stop of buying something like that you don't need mm, like because it's always telling you like in the tv or uh, the publicity telling you that you have to consume more and more and more like oh you, you you have to have this beautiful car to be happy or you have to buy this new iphone or you have to have this thing in you and what if you don't need all of those things and they always telling you that and they repeated that again and again and and they tell you like oh you can save money because we have 30 percent of discount and well i don't know how i'm going to save money if i'm going to spend it well anyway so it's like you have to consume more and more to be happy or something like that but the truth is that that's affecting the environment because all these companies like really use a lot of natural resources and they don't care a lot for that. They just want to have to make their things cheaper to sell it like a lot more expensive price. And, and well, I think that to reduce all the 
damage that we do in the environment, we have to reduce our consumption consumption of products. Okay, so also reuse, and we know that we have is when we have something and you can use it a lot of times. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Give have a visitor there. Okay, uh, I give an example of reuse. And you can buy clothes and bazaars and donate the clothes that you don't use anymore. And other, other example is when you do your homework, you can use the bot, uh, like the bot size of paper to um, reduce the consuming of the paper. All right, anybody else? Cielo? Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you some examples of Raisical. Um, for Raisical, you can separate each waste in a different container at home uh, and then deposit in an appropriate container to make sure your trash ends up at the Raisical plant. Um, also, you can compost your plants with food scraps uh, pruning or coffee grounds and you can use the accessories of your clothing on accessories such as zippers on bottoms to for other garments all right um one of the things i i was thinking about when you guys were talking about bicycles and and even trying trying to reduce the use of cars and the the university back when you know we actually had classes face to face you know um, they had some bicycles that they would offer to encourage teachers and students to use bicycles to go back and forth right to to the uh, to the university right and as probably all of you are aware in Aguascalientes they also have these stations where they have bicycles i guess they still do this i although i haven't been out for a while to really see see it in use but i remember that uh, they had bicycles located around the city that you could uh, rent right that you could pay so uh, these are some efforts not so much that we can do individually except use those services right you could use the bicycles that are available at the university you could use bicycles that are that the government that the local government offers our citizens here in, in our town in our city right to do our part to reduce emissions to reduce the pollution that is generated from those autos those automobiles all right very good a lot of good ideas guys thank you for sharing that uh, team four thank you, thank you teacher, teacher. Right. I'm sorry for my dog <laughs> oh yes and uh, give your give your dog a hug for us team five maria de jesus paulina nadeline ellie if you'd like to join in activate your video so we can see your lovely faces activate your microphone okay <laughs> just wait a second That's okay. It's all good. We're all friends here. <laughs> no worries. What do you think? What do you think about uh, what you can do on a day to day basis? Well, I think that everybody has just um, say all the ideas. So, well, I'm going to say like the ideas that I wrote. And my other two partners are going to say the same, okay? Okay. Um, first, avoid the use of hose when you wash your car. 
instead of that, that we can use like a bucket with water and a sponge to wash the car. Um, promote and use the uh, the recyclable bags instead of plastic bags. Um, use well. Avoid the use of plastic bottles, and if you have one, well, you can use it a lot of times instead of like buying another one in the store and that. And print as little as possible, as necessary. Um, like for example, if the teacher um, says to you that you have to print 10 pages of some work, um, ask if you can, instead of that, use um, your computer to bring the work there or if it's necessary like to um, bring something that ha you have to print you can you can print in both sides of the pages instead of just of one size that's what i what that's the ideas that i put all right anybody else want to join in and again feel free to turn on your camera so we can see your faces i don't know ellen madeline yeah Maria. <laughs> okay well i wrote in well, the the word document that if we can avoid plastics and uh, um, that will be perfect but if or and to promote well the usage of the reusable bag or toppers and well to recycle uh, that plastic i mean in my house we had got a a big a really big bag of a lot of bottles that we don't use right now and later on we go to our recycle center and we you know sell it and we have like an extra money and that's I think that it's a kind of good idea to recycle it and it's not about the money but <laughs> but it will you are helping to the planet so actually um, we can use like um, renewable energy like like the solar yeah um, como los calentadores solares I, I don't know how to do say mm -hmm. that word in English so yeah, we had, well, my family and I had got one and we use it in summer and we didn't use it a lot of in winter, but in summer it's just a good idea to, you know, um, have like an another source of energy over there. Um, okay, very good. Go ahead. To care of the environment, what can be done turn off turn off all the devices when they are not near it or the light and we can also take advantage of natural light we can donate what i don't know how to use it no how i don't know how to use that can be done on a day to day basis and in my case what we do is Recycle. We collect the plastic, and my father takes it to our recycling center. Okay, uh, Maria, do you have any any ideas, any thoughts? Maria isn't with us. Okay. All right, and so I'm curious. Uh, you guys have given some some good ideas here. Uh, if what what kind of conversations do you have with your family? This is a similar question I asked before, but how explicit? I mean, it sounds like in the case of Ellie's uh, example, it seems explicit, but I could be wrong. But is do you guys have conversations as a family about uh, about recycling, about some of the examples that you provided today, or or is it? Is it just something that you that you do? Each person in your family kind of does it, and you really don't talk about it that much. Well, um, taking the idea that Aurora says about the light and well, uh, the electricity, 
Um, we always do that. Like it's something that we have to do and we do it incontinentemente. <laughs> um, like if we know that we have something plugged that we are not using, we just unplugged it and we always turn off the, the light. Always, always. Mm -hmm. That's something right. that we, we do, but not about like referring with the environment, just something that we can we do every day and about recycle the things um we have tried the this year but it doesn't work <laughs> like we left that sorry uh, paulina you cut out there um any, anyone else want to share do you how explicit or implicit how what kind of conversations you have uh, with your family? Well, in my family, a part of all the recycling stuff and the um, solar um, energy, um, we actually don't talk about it so much, but we are already conscious about what we have to do. I mean, it's not something that um, it comes to to any um, to any talk, but we uh, we know that it's something that we have to do and knowing that we don't have like a really specific talk we just do it mm -hmm. yeah good all right anyone else want to share all right great uh, nice nice ideas being shared there uh, team five thank you thank you for that Let's go on to team six. Nelly, Tanya, Fernando, Diana. Again, feel free to activate your cameras if you wish. Here, teacher. Great. Okay. We're team six. And first of all, I want to talk about uh, what is the pollution. Pollution is any kind of uh, action that deteriorates the earth. Why we have to take care of the environment? Because the the earth is our home, and we don't have to be like uh, no sé cómo se dice como inconscientes, uncons, cómo? I don't know, uncons. That's well, okay. That was, Go ahead. Uh, inconscientes because we're not the only person who live there. Who live here? There's animals. There's plants, and what what people understand don't understand is that the earth doesn't belong to us. The the action that, for example, I I think uh, it could be like the best ones to reduce the um, pollution is do not buy a lot of a lot of clothes, do not having kids, do not buying a lot of makeup, and use the school all the school materials about the kids. Uh, it's because while it's it's growing the pollution, the resources are less. And my friends are going to talk about more actions. Thank you. Okay, as Tanya mentioned, uh, in, the in our environment, we have pollution, and this is one of the biggest issues in, in our environment. So to reduce it or to prevent it or to control it, we have to take like some actions or some ways to do it. And one of them are one is not littering because actually we can find a lot of trash in green areas in the city. So this is very, very, very bad for our environment. Another point is that if we have the, the opportunity, we should like plant a tree or a flowers or any kind of plants because they reduce the global warming and they are the home for species of birds and they provide food them. So if my classmates Diana really want to add another one. Yes, for example, another one can be uh, recycle. For example, um, in my family, we like put all the plastic bottles in one bag and we take it to to a special place where they can recycle the these plastic bottles. Also, other thing is like uh, reduce the use of plastic or things that pollute. For example, 
uh, one good alternative that we can do is when we go to the cinema, we should bring our own toppers and there we can put our popcorn or sodas and things like that. And another thing is don't litter trash in places that are not correct because I've seen a lot of kids that do that and the fathers don't say anything. And that's very bad because when they grow up, uh, they don't say anything to their kids. Uh, other thing is bring your own bags to the shopping. And this thing, uh, it's, I think that everyone do it since they don't give more bags in the shoppings, in the markets and mm -hmm. things. Another thing is don't cut down the trees because it's very important for our oxygen. I don't know how to say. So I don't know if Nelly mm, uh, is going to say another thing. Yes, um, we can do a lot of more things for reduce uh, pollution, like plant uh, trees in protected areas, disconnect uh, electronic devices when we are not using them. Um, uh, the next one is more for industries. Uh, is treat chemical waste properly before leading them of the factories because um, the pollution is not only have um, problems in the nat nature, uh, uh, in, the, in the body, in the in the people have some causes like um, respiratory disorder, cancer, or age disorder. Wow, some really interesting ideas uh, there. I I'm curious for for you guys. Is this something that that you as a family have been doing for for a long time, or are there some things that you've done recently that you used to not do to better conserve the environment? Uh, for example, in my case, all the time, uh, I'm a, in my family, we take a shower with cubeta. Mm. So, because we don't have regadera, <laughs> not because we want to take uh, we're gonna, o sea, because we don't want to use the, the regadera, but mm -hmm. it's something that inconscientemente you, you take care of the environment because okay. we don't waste a lot of water. Right. Very good. Anyone else? Mm, yeah, for example, since I'm little, I remember that my mom always was like, don't turn the lights on when you're not using it. Uh, recycle the bottles, the plastic bottles, uh, don't throw uh, trash in the street and things like that. Yeah, and for example, in my family, my mother has taught me trees and plants are very important because she loves the plants and she always is like try to planting uh, trees uh, here uh, in my house. And as Diana mentioned, my father also says is that we turn off the lights, the TV, when we are not using. Okay, Nelly. Well, uh, in my family, uh, I think my mom is like Fernando moms because she likes a lot um, uh, the trees, the um, the flowers. So uh, in my house. Uh, have a big um, garden. Very good. Um, all right, listen, guys, uh, it's uh, 9.43, and I, I really want to have time to talk with everybody. We finished with six teams. We still have four left. So what I was thinking, uh, what we can do tomorrow, we'll still have our TOEFL review. But I think we'll have time also to hear from uh, the remaining four teams tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is um, I need to think about what we're going to do first. I'm thinking probably listen from the four teams. Maybe we'll start doing that tomorrow and then we'll conclude tomorrow's class with the TOEFL listening instead of uh, the other way around. I think that's what we'll do. Um, so, but I do want to give everyone a chance to to speak.
um, some really good ideas. I know some of these things that we're talking about sound repetitive, but I really am curious also about your your culture here in, in your home in terms of how these routines happen, right? And you know, these are really some good stories that you're sharing and uh, very interesting. And, um, and I think we'll continue tomorrow with the remaining four teams. Okay, guys, so I think we'll stop there for today. Uh, please make sure you're following in Notion with all of the activities, right, that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Again, the TOEFL review, this is going to be for a grade, and we'll have an opportunity uh, to not only do it on Friday, I'm going to go ahead and offer it again on Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning, so you can plan on that. Anyone who wants to retake it again, um, it, it can't hurt you to take it again. I'm going to take the best grade from, from your attempts, from all your attempts. All right, so if you get a better grade on Friday than you do on Monday, I'll take Friday's grade. So uh, that's what we'll plan on for tomorrow, and we'll, com we'll complete our, our team activity that we started today. And also, just a reminder, this week will be our last uh, episode for this class. I hope it's not your last episode ever. I hope you continue with your uh, podcast. Um, but for our class, tomorrow will be our last uh, episode for for your podcast, okay? All right. Uh, any questions about anything that we're working on uh, in the class? No, teacher. So tomorrow uh, we're going to have the day to finish the portfolio today in the night. It has to be ready so you can review it. Uh, all right. So the e-portfolio, um, I, I want, I'm going to ask everybody to try to complete it for tomorrow. I'm going to give the deadline for the e-portfolio. The deadline is going to be actually uh, next week, next uh, Wednesday. So I'm, I'm asking everyone to try to complete it on Friday so that I can take another look at it or uh, I'm, today I'm going to go in to continue leaving feedback uh, to those that I haven't yet uh, given feedback to. But um, I, I really want all of you to receive some feedback from me and have an opportunity to make those changes for the mm -hmm. final e-portfolio that will be due next Wednesday, December 16th. All right, but again, please try to finish it for, for tomorrow so oh, okay. that right so that i can take a look at it and say okay maybe i can give you some suggestions to maybe make some final changes by next wednesday december 16th all right okay. i want to try to finish everything for our class by next wednesday like all the grades everything uh so that so that you know exactly you know what your final grade is going to be for for the class all right okay thank you Yes. Any other and questions? The, the TOEFL is the review, so it's not going to count. It's just take notes about the Okay, the, the TOEFL, the TOEFL uh, this is going to be a four grade. Okay. All right, so but, um, mañana el repaso de los TOEFLs, este es, una, es para la calificación, de hecho. Es, es, y este va a aplicar a la 40% de todo tu calificación final de esta materia. Sí, entonces es por eso voy a dar varias chances, varias oportunidades a hacerlo. Mañana va a ser uno, la próxima lunes también, si es necesario también miércoles. miércoles. Los, los, otros, los otros no van a contar para la calificación, just this. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. I know it's like stressful, okay. but the yeah. idea here is this, right? All of the exams that you've taken so far, you've gotten a, a grade so that you know more or less where you're at, like how well you're doing or if you need to practice more. Um, okay. But I don't want to penalize you for the grades maybe that you got earlier in the semester if you are improving over time, right? So the idea here is to apply it on Wednesday because, and it doesn't, yeah, so Friday, tomorrow, we'll have a TOEFL listening quiz or exam, whatever you want to call it, you're going to get a grade. 
And in Notion, I show how I'm going to give you what percentage grade you're going to get based on the score. Let me let me show you that real quick. In Notion, uh, let me show you here. Okay, so if you guys go into Notion, you should find this page called TOEFL Listening One. These are the instructions. You might want to take a look at these, but these are just some, basically what we've talked about in class. But this is the grading. This is how I'm going to grade. If you get 50% of your questions right or more, you're going to get a 10. If you get a 40 to 49% correct of the questions that you answer, you'll get a 9 and so on. So this is the grading logic or the scoring logic that that I'll use for for the TOEFL exam. Yeah, but for, for, for example, we're going to do it tomorrow on Monday on the another classes. And you're going to take the, the one that we got the, the most. Percentage. That's right. Yes. Attitude. No, thanks. That's yes. great. That's that's right. Yes. Right. So so yeah, that's that's the idea. All right. So um, and for these reviews, uh, I'm not going to offer the the recording, the audio, right? So everyone's going to have to be in the class uh, taking the the exam together, all right? So that'll be a, another change. All of us will have to be in the class taking it, and I'll share my screen as I always do, right? Um, but that will that will also be a little bit different than what we're used to this semester. All right. Yes. Any other? Okay. Any other questions? So I have to assist to the class on Monday or tomorrow. Okay, but I don't have to to assist uh, the three days. No. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna offer it tomorrow, right? And if you're in and then you're done, if you don't want to retake it, that's fine. It's it's optional. OK, thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Yes, yeah, so this is optional. And next week uh, is only for those who want to retake it. If you're happy with your grade on Friday, uh, that's fine. Then you don't have to take it again. OK. All right, any other questions? All right, guys, we'll stop there. Enjoy the rest of your day tomorrow. Um, we'll we'll try to do both. We'll listen to the remaining teams and we will do our TOEFL exam. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. 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 Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too.